high students now the detergents detergents can be used in the hot water also but detergents are non biodegradable this is a major drawback and why are these non biodegradable because of that they are containing long carbon chain but they can be made biodegradable they can be made bio degrade able by lowering their carbon chain lowering their carbon chain it is better than so but the major drawback is that non biodegradable due to the longer carbon chain there are of three types of detergent number one is that anionic detergents we are going to discuss the three types of detergents number one is that anionic detergents anionic detergents anionic detergents i am going to tell you their method to learn the formula also because of that here we are taking the laryl alcohol that is containing 12 of carbon ch3 ch2 10 and ch2 oh this is known as laryl alcohol in which class you are studying 12 How many carbon are there here? Twelve. So first point to learn that. Then it react with the sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid and sulfonic acid will attach on the OH group with the removal of water. So what it will come? That is CH3, CH2 ten, and CH2. O S O three H. Now they react with the sodium hydroxide. Again, removal of water, and we will get the anionic detergent. That is the C H three C H two ten C H two O S O three N E. so this is what the anionic detergent containing 12 of carbon first react with the sulfuric acid and sulfonic acid group is attached then react with NH and in both cases water is removed so this is what the example of anionic detergent anionic detergents are the sodium salt of sulfonated long chain alcohols or hydrocarbons now next second is that cationic detergent now the cationic detergents are the quaternary ammonium salt of amines with may be bromide or chloride or acetate we just add four carbon atom 12 with 4 16 so this formula is coming ch3 ch2 15 and then attach with the nitrogen and quaternary salt you have made of the means with the bromides and you know very well that i mean can have the four valencies by using its lone pair so this is what the cationic detergents cationic detergents have germicidal properties it have the germicidal properties means of that it can kill the germs germicidal 
properties cationic detergent have and anionic detergents are used in toothpaste whereas anionic detergents are used in toothpaste and used for household work and used for house hold work now the third is that non ionic detergents yes dear students and the third is that non ionic detergents uh we will take that stearic acid with ethylene glycol this is the stearic acid reacting with the glycol and we are actually we will take polythene polyethylene glycol we have to take and we are getting that non ionic detergent by using of water molecule and this is used in liquid dishwashing detergents are non ionic type and mechanism of detergent is that same of the soap which we have discussed one thing i forgot in the chapter that is anti fertility terms this can be asked in exams this is novastrol commonly known as nothrindron and ethylene less stable you have to use this one and learn now this is what the whole chapter is complete chemistry in every life one question is that you also revise to find out the hydrophobic and hydrophilic part it can be asked thank you very much guys next we will meet in the next class with the chapter solution physical chemistry thank you